high in this uh, activity we will create uh, the network topology and then configure devices and verify connectivity on part one we will create the, the network to we click on network device here and then we uh, use a uh, zip tie of model of router and then we uh, use a switch and here uh, we drag and drop the uh, 2960 switch and there are two switches so we drop and drop here and the end devices here we drop two PC first one the second one and here maybe the end device, the uh, uh, layer 2 device and layer 3 device. Next, we will name the devices uh, router A. Click here and router A. And switch 1, SW1. SW1 and then SW2 W2 and PC1 PC1 and PC2 okay and connect the device we use a connection here and from router A port gigabit 0 slash 0 to switch 1 we click on it another port to device so uh, we will use the straight through cable to switch 1 on gigabit 0 slash 1 and use the copper straight through to row slot one on suite two. suite two and we connect the PC one to switch one use the copper straight through fat ethernet fat ethernet zero slot one and do the same with PC2. Now we will configure devices. First, we will configure the router, the host name, and the password. The host name, okay, the router A. Here, you can enter the configuration host name. Next, we will configure Cisco NPA55 as an encrypted password. And this one with the password on the line. So, enable enable secret. Cisco and BA55 and line console zero password Cisco and BA55 login line BTY04 Password Cisco PA Cisco Lite Cisco Lite PA55 Login and we will configure the interface setting 
uh, online should accept connection, connect an approved, uh, appropriate message of uh, the day banner. Banner MOTD. Next, we will configure interface settings. And here is the IP address for router A. And here we can interface zero zero IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot one second mass. No shut down. One. Twenty. No shut. For the VLAN on switch one. We will configure. The interface VLAN VLAN 1 IP address 10.10.10.2 No shut No shut We do the same on suite 2 This is one the default management interface. Okay, uh, config the encrypted password using the value in uh, step one uh, A. We do the same on router. Config online to accept connection using password same uh, from step one A above. Uh, so it's your job. Config the switch so they can send data to host on remote network. Uh, so we should add the default gateway for the suite. For example, on suite one, we should add the default gateway to uh, router A uh, on port gigabit zero slash zero. So I think IP default gateway uh, to the IP address on gigabit zero slash zero ten dot ten dot. 10.1 and on suite 2 we will add the default gateway to the gigabit 0 here the gigabit 0 slot 1 and IP default gateway 10.10.20.1 And then we will save the configuration by using the copy run start. Copy run. And then we will config the host uh, with the information here. Uh, we can, uh, for example, PC1 will get the IP address on this uh, pool. And PC2 will get the IP red on this pool. So I think it's your job. So that is all for this activity, guys. Thanks for watching.